Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the Toy Lounge and today we're going to be looking at a, another Jurassic Clash figure review Dino Wrangler I believe this is the Titanus which is a large bird-like prehistoric creature Don't see any of these guys flying around in the wild anymore. I don't think he ever flew. A uh, large flightless bird. Hmm, okay. And the figure that's included, I believe, is Trick Shot. That's the one thing about the Jurassic Clash line, you don't have the name of the character anywhere else on the packaging. Comes with an array of weaponry. Looking at the back, the same thing we've seen before. That long read up again. Let's not waste any time. Let's get this thing opened up. Okay, and here we have our Titanus and Trick Shot unboxed. Let's have a look at Trick Shot first. We'll just put our Titanus figure to the side. Three accessories. This Twin spear gun with a scope. Another machine gun which comes with this odd looking peg sticking out from the side. Again, you can use G.I. Joe or Power Team Elite weapons if you like if you're after a more realistic look and he does have a removable pistol fits into his hand very easily And all these weapons are molded in a army green plastic. In this case, they match trick shots, pants, and sleeves. Fits into his holster very easily. And if you look at trick shot, He actually is the exact same mold as another previous figure we looked at. Just with different colors and a different head sculpt. I forget the name of this guy. I did look him up, but it's completely slipped my mind what his name was. I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's just slipped my mind. Anyway, we'll move him aside. Give you a closer look at his head sculpt I do wish these guys came with a bio card as we did with G.I. Joe but unfortunately we don't 
not with the Jurassic Clash wave anyway. So this is the first time I'm actually getting these figures in any form. So maybe they did have uh, BioCard in a previous line. There isn't much paintwork to these figures. His arms are all a, uh, including the hands, are actually moulded in this army green plastic. And they've applied paint to the forearms. The legs and the hips are the same. They've just added some paint detail with a lighter green in the camo. The shoes as well are painted in a olive green. And the torso is actually the uh, molded in the orangey yellow plastic and I've added black paint to the uh, non removable pistol and just around the the sleeve just under the neck the collar I should say not the sleeve nice detailed pouches that go all the way around yeah I do like the head sculpt on this guy something different looking And as a size comparison to his buddy El Jefe, more of a standard size figure. Here's how they look together. And just one thing with these figures, I do notice just the way their feet are molded, they, they kind of bend in. At first I thought it was the way, it was due to the way they were positioned in the packaging, sitting on the saddle, but I think this is how they're actually molded and they're designed to stand with their legs a bit further apart which looks okay but I'd prefer if they were more uh, straight again I'm not sure if it's just with this line if this is how they were in previous waves but I've noticed with all the figures their feet do bend inwards okay move him aside let's have a look at this guy here What I like about this, I mean they have no, so far they, these guys don't have much articulation, but they do have movable, movable jaws. And I make them grab your enemies. Well, I can't get it open that wide. Well, there you go. This is just me playing. <laughs> anyway, some options there. 
So you do have the movement in the jaw, but that's about it in terms of articulation with this guy. But again, a very nice looking figure. Or statue, whatever you want to call it. The saddles, I've noticed, are all moulded in the same colour plastic. So they all have that orangey plastic. And if I just reach over to the saber tooth, you'll notice again they are different saddles, but they're all molded in the same orange plastic. has a looks like a nice storage compartment attached to the saddle these things these accessories they have some of them are very deceiving you it this actually looks like it may unfold or open up but it actually doesn't Give you a closer look of that head sculpt. Let me just attach, adjust my camera for a minute. Yeah, it's better. Get a focus in. detail inside the mouth, the tongue it's got that crazy hair going on there his wings slash claws I don't know what era this creature would have lived in. I guess you could always look these things up in Wikipedia or something. I'm sure there's some information about this guy. When they died out. What they mostly ate. The saddle is removable as well, but I'm not going to be bothered with removing that right now. And here we have trick shot all saddled up. As you can see, he fits nicely on the saddle. Ready for the Dino Wars. We'll just get the other figures reviewed next to trick shot see if we can fit them all in one shot we'll just extend the camera back a bit The saber tooth as well.
looking quite good together. There you go. That's our Titanus review with Trick Shot. We still got more to go. Gonna have our huge dino army set up eventually. Stay tuned guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.